up guys, it's your girl Careless Morgan. I am in a different setup today because my kitchen at my house is under construction because I have been moving. But I'm super excited because I'm working with HelloFresh today. I have partnered up with them. I'm excited. www.hellofresh.com is what you guys need to visit to go look at all these meals and the meal that I'm preparing today. It's gonna be awesome. I'm hungry. I'm excited. The meal that I'm cooking today is creamy dill chicken with potatoes and green beans. And I love potatoes and I love green beans and I love chicken, oh my God. Sorry if the lighting is a little off. My diva ring <laughs> kept flickering today and I was like, girl, what are you doing? And so I'm using natural daylight, but it should be fine because I'm gonna explain everything I'm doing and showing you step by step. But you guys can use my code MorganHanbury60. It is in my description below. The link will be in there. And definitely go visit www.hellofresh.com. So let's get right into cooking before the sun goes down and the natural light goes away. Okay, so HelloFresh comes in these little bags, but it also comes in when it delivers to you in a box where it shows, you know, it's all fresh and it has a little freezer compartment. I don't know what they're called, all right? I don't know what they're called, but it it's very handy, very handy. And they fit in your fridge very good. Okay, so this bag is potatoes. So I'm gonna go wash them real quick. That way I can cut them up on the cutting board. Okay, so your first step is to preheat and prep. So it says wash and dry all produce, adjust rack to upper position, preheat oven to 450 degrees, pick fronds from dill and discard stems, finely chop fronds, cut potatoes into half inch cubes. So we're gonna cut these potatoes up basically. Okay guys, I have washed my potatoes and now I'm going to cut them. I'm gonna be talking about a few things that I love about HelloFresh. HelloFresh makes eating deliciously part of your every week routine, which I love because you spend less time meal planning and grocery shopping every week and you get back to doing things you love like spending time with your family. And that's what I really love about it and it makes cooking literally really convenient thanks to HelloFresh because you'll love being able to whip up dinner in around 30 minutes when you have HelloFresh on hand. But I cannot be the only person who loves simple home cooking. You no longer will have to buy an ingredient for one recipe that you will never use again or throw away thanks to HelloFresh pre-measured ingredients, which I'm obsessed with. You're also gonna be able to discover the benefits of HelloFresh subscription over and over again. Your account is so easy to manage with the ability to choose your delivery date to match your every changing schedule and pause deliveries for when you're on vacation. That is something I'm literally obsessed with because your girl likes to go on vacation, all right? But I just want you guys to know how much I love HelloFresh. I've never had any bad personal experience with them. And for a total of $60 off, that's $20 off of your first three boxes, visit HelloFresh.com and enter my promo code MorganHanbury60. That's literally like receiving six meals free or up to 50% off three boxes. That's a steal if you ask your girl, Careless Morgan. Okay, so now that I have my potatoes all chopped up, I'm going to put them on this baking sheet. And I'm gonna show y'all a little trick that I like to do. Um, hold on, this potato <laughs> didn't get cut right. So, don't mind me. Okay. So it says to add salt and pepper, which I agree, but I'm going to add garlic sea salt as my salt and pepper, and regular pepper. And then a little garlic powder. And then it says to drizzle a little vegetable oil. So. Very carefully. That should be good. Okay, so it should look like this, a little salt and pepper, garlic powder, that's what I put on, and then I use good old great value vegetable oil, and yeah, let's pop that in the oven for 25 to 30 minutes. Okay, this is step four, and we just got done with step two, so before I cook the chicken, I'm just gonna prep this real quick, but first I'm gonna wash it, it's green beans, so give me three seconds. Okay, so I'm just gonna put my green beans on this sheet. Put them over here. Do it very lightly. Then, uh -uh. y'all heard the oven make a big ass noise? Put a little seasoning. 
and just put that to the side for when we do make this. Okay, so the next step is to cook our chick. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. The next step is to cook our chicken. We're going to put oil over a large pan on medium heat, pat chicken dry with paper towel, season all over with salt and pepper, and cook until it's no longer peak in the middle, four to six minutes per side. Okay, so while that is heating the oil, I am going to cut up the dill like so. Which one is on? This is the right one, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Is it on? Oh, it's on, but the gas is coming out. Oh my god. I did not. It might blow up. For real? Okay, that's how you turn on a fancy oven. Because <laughs> I didn't know how to turn it on. <laughs> Thank you for that. Thank you. We would have been just sitting here with gas. Okay, so now we're going to cut up this dill and then don't forget to cut off the stems. So yeah. Okay, so after you pat the chicken dry, you're going to set it on the skillet. And what I love about this is that these chickens are already cut up into two. And they're really good pieces too. They're really big. I'm gonna go wash my hands because I don't want to touch chicken and then touch the seasonings. That's really gross, so BRB. Okay, so I'm gonna put salt. Actually, this is pepper. <laughs> Girl, what am I doing? And I'm going to put garlic sea salt, but you only need salt and pepper, but I just really love garlic salt. It just gives a really good flavor. So we're gonna do four to six minutes on each side. Make sure it's not pink because you don't wanna get salmonella in. So just saying. While the chicken cooks, we're gonna toss our green beans in the oven with our potatoes as well. And our green beans look like this. Very fresh, very good. I cannot wait. I love green beans so much. And as you're cooking, clean as you go, it makes it a lot easier than, you know, leaving it in a hot mess. Stir the chicken, you know, as you go. The oil should make it where it doesn't stick on the pan, but just in case. Okay, so now we're just gonna flip our chicken and cook it for the same amount on the other side. Okay, so now I'm going to cut up the chicken. Make sure it's cooked all the way. Okay, so now that I cut up the chicken, it'll be a lot easier and faster for it to cook all the way. But it's looking good, smelling great, and I'm excited. So I'm gonna get two tablespoons of water and that way when I'm done with the chicken, I can make the sauce real quick to drizzle all over the chicken. But I'm gonna check on my vegetables real quick. So these green beans look so good. I'm excited for those. And over here, we have our potatoes, which I'm excited. I'm gonna plate this and then I'm gonna show you the rest. Okay, so I'm gonna add the two teaspoons of water and I already measured it, don't worry. Put the dill and then I'm going to put the Dijon mustard, the sour cream, and the stock concentrate. Okay, so now I'm going to stir it up and make this sauce. I might have added too much water. My fault, you can just add flour to make it thicken. I'm gonna see if it thickens by itself, but I'm just going to 
play it by ear. But yeah, that's a secret. If you make gravy or make a, a roux for mac and cheese or whatever, you just put butter and you put flour and it makes this whole thick goodness. I think it's gonna thicken though, which is great. Okay, this is what it looks like without any of the sauce on it, but I wanna show you before and I'll show you an after when it is complete. Alright guys, I am done. I am sweating. I'm ready to eat. Go use my code MorganHamper60, hellofresh.com, www.hellofresh.com. Go click the link in my description below. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed.